Beating bullets. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Well, as the old saying goes, it's Miller time. So, um... I lost a couple of videos guys, I have to apologize, um, I did a video on installing the head studs and uh, also installing the oil pan which I really wanted to show you but uh, for some reason uh, the memory card that I was using crapped out and uh, I wasn't able to recover the files so that's a little disappointing. Uh, so this is where we're at, hang on. Okay, uh, as you can see, the ARP head studs are in. Ten of them. Uh, just so you know, they are basically hand tightened. Uh, that's what they require or what they ask for. Uh, there is uh, some prep work to go into uh, making sure the, um, uh, the stud holes. Are, uh, the threads are nice and cleaned. Uh, from what I've read, you do not want to use a thread chaser in, a, in a, uh, an aluminum block. You want to get in there um, with a bunch of uh, brake clean parts cleaner and get yourself a bunch of these uh, wire brushes. Uh, these are good. They're um, they're a bristle brush. They're not uh, they're not brass. I wouldn't want to leave any brass remnants behind. Had a real hard time finding um, these guys, and I was going to use my um, my gun, my firearm, uh, firearms uh, cleaning brushes, which are brass. But uh, luckily, I found these, and I found them at a piece of crap uh, parts place down the road here that I didn't even know it was there, it was just a hole in the wall and they had a whole selection of them so that's awesome um, I can't say how meticulous I have been in uh, preparing both the deck surface um, uh, the MLS gaskets uh, in place here right now but clean 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 I used brake clean, I went around twice, then I used some acetone, went around twice and then finished up with another pass on the brake clean same thing on the cylinder head and if you guys don't know this is a brand new head uh, which can be purchased from GM uh, for around 400 bucks it's uh, including you know cams valves, new valves, uh, springs, rockers, everything I mean just to buy those uh, updated rockers were uh, like 180 bucks by themselves so um, so I've already had this apart I've pulled it apart I've got my um, uh, I've got my updated valve springs in there um, Supertech there we go uh, Supertech duels uh, 75 pound springs we've put those in um, so they're all ready to go uh, the cams are clocked correctly so the idea is here um, you want this guy here and this mark here to be at roughly uh, 7 o'clock and 5 o'clock respectively and the idea is there that when we place the head uh, onto the block and the block being set with uh, cylinder number one at top dead center we do not want the valves to touch the cylinders and because there's no timing in place right now um, or the timing hasn't been set got to be careful about that uh, if you get it wrong right now most of these valves are pretty much closed uh, number two's uh, intakes are open a little and number one's intakes are open a little but if you were to run a <coughs> 
run a flat edge across um, you'll see that they don't go below uh, the deck height of the of the head uh, what else I'm just trying to do this real quick so the uh, ARP kit comes with 10 bolt uh, 10 studs washers nuts they do supply some special fastener lubricant they call it ultra torque uh, and this is to make sure that we torque down the nuts to the correct specification I didn't know that so I of course bought some of this uh, I ended up paying like 60 bucks for this by the time it landed in Canada with all the duty GST shipping and everything else that went along with it and I don't even need it so useless I got more than enough there for 10 for 10 studs uh, what else what else what else what else um, okay so we're gonna be putting the head on head on here shortly we are going to be uh, fastening them down to 80 foot pounds uh, in three uh, three equal steps so we'll probably do um, you know 25 I think I'm gonna do 25 55 and then 80 uh, and then pass it again to make sure that 80 is looking good uh, what else what else what else what else what else I think that's about it until I'm ready to put the head on um, I'm pretty close here I uh, just need to blow everything off make sure there's no lint or dust I had to clean the head up a fair, fair amount because all the assembly lube that I put into this head when I was re rebuilding rebuilding it with the springs it's been sitting around for three months so all the assembly lube uh, dripped down through the um, oil galleries and um, when I took it back out of the box out of its packaging the surface was covered in oil and that uh, that's not good so I've spent probably the last two hours hour and a half I would say without exaggerating um, cleaning cleaning this surface off so we're looking good there um, what else what else what else what else have I missed uh, like I say oil pan is in place um, like I say I, I kinda kinda upset a little bit that I didn't get that video because that was a good one um, it just showed the uh, the correct method for or what I believe was the correct method method for applying the sealant uh, these oil pans do not use a, a gasket so to speak uh, GM provides a very special uh, sealant uh, so let me jump up here real quick and, uh, uh, no, oh shit that's not it there it is hang on uh, here it is here little little guy um, and it's like a white paste uh, once you apply it you've got uh, you've got about half an hour to get everything torqued down to where it needs to be okay so I'm gonna uh, I bought a uh, half inch uh, 12 pointed socket to match the ARPs but I've now realized that I should have bought a deep socket because uh, I'm not entirely sure how far the stud is going to stick past the the nut uh, so I'm just going to run down and uh, pick up a 12 point deep one just in case I need it once I've got the head on I want to get it on I don't want to have to let it sit there at all um, so I'm going to get these uh, sexy black gloves off that my wife just loves these by the way Ooh, it's awesome look at those uh, yeah, so get these off, uh, head down to the parts store, and uh, I'll be back in a flash. Bye for now. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Uh, just went and uh, picked up a couple of decks of smokes, uh, some more beers, and uh, while I was on my way back, picked up a nice 12-point half-inch deep socket just in case I need it 
Got my two torque wrenches uh, ready to go. My uh, 3 8 drive and my half inch drive. I'm going to swing this bad boy around. I'm going to get this done because I'm hungry, hungry, hungry. Why does the compressor always start when I start recording? I'm going to get a shitload of McDonald's tonight and I'm... I've got NASCAR, which I'm recording right now, first race of the season. So, uh, really looking forward to a good evening. I'm going to get my head on the engine. I'm going to get my head on. Hmm. Going to get my head on the engine, get cleaned up, run down, pick up 30 or 40 bucks worth of McDonald's, come back and uh, sit in front of the TV, watch NASCAR. And life could not be better. Okay. So, everything's ready to go. I'm uh, just going to give a quick blast over. deck of the head. Now I'm just uh, looking at how I've got to orientate this thing and pick it up. So it's still going to be in camera shot. So if I'm going to be standing there, you guys ain't going to be, be able to see anything. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to rock back a little bit here. I'm going to move this guy over there. How does that look? Looks terrible. So I'm going to be standing over here. What I should do is just block this over this way. Hope you guys are patient because I've tried doing, uh, you know, editing where you cut sections out uh, on the computer and that. Oh, can't think of anything more boring and tedious. Okay. So let's pick this head up. We make it so friggin' heavy for. Okay, only goes on one way. Looking down one of the holes here, trying to find a stud. And find it. There it is. Here we go. Beautiful. That's what I wanted to see. Just nice and easy. Now we're going to get this onto the dowels. There we are. Now she's down. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love the way that dropped down. It's a thing of beauty. Okay, so now looking at the studs. we will probably get this in a little closer now. Looking at the studs, um, yeah, it looks like I'm probably going to need that deep dish socket. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to stop this for a second, guys. I'm going to get myself set up, uh, get my torque wrenches set up, all my lube set up, and I'll be back in a two shakes of a lamb's tail. Okay, I'm back uh, to save you the monotony of uh, watching me lube up 10 washers. Uh, I've done the first nine. Um, this is why gloves are good here because this is kind of messy so you take the ARP washer and get some goo on there on one side and make sure the other side's fully covered. You don't need a lot you just want to make sure that they're they're fully covered here. Oh shit, just lost it. <laughs> so I always have a pair of these handy. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. So let's pick that up and uh, zoom in here. This is the last one to go in. Uh, all the threads have been fully covered. So you want uh, the threads covered, you want the uh, bottom and top surfaces of the washer covered. Uh, and I'm not going to keep you guys all day here. But now we take a 
fastener, a nut. So, uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of lube on that as well, just to make sure. Um, and I'm not going to go through the whole process with you guys because I really need to concentrate on what I'm doing here. I don't want to be worried too much about the camera. So number one, and these are, are of course talked uh, in a certain pattern. Um, so we'll just get this started here. And I'm sure you guys know how to put nuts on and how to use a torque wrench. So I've decided I'm going to split that uh, 80 foot-pounds into three equal. Uh, I'm going to do uh, 27, I'm going to do a round at 27 pounds, and then I'm going to do a round at 54, and then finish off with 80, and then go around again and make sure that I'm all torqued down. Uh, I'm just going to go around, just to let you know, I'm going to finger tighten every all of these, and then come in and do, uh, do my... Uh, my torque settings backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Um, and that's uh, going to be it for the head. The head will be on, and then tomorrow we can start looking at uh, setting up the timing on this guy. Um, feeling good, feeling good. Okay. I don't know, I'm not too sure what you guys are expecting from the videos, but uh, I can only provide what I can provide. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to get these talked down, go get my McDonald's and watch some NASCAR. Have a good night.